It's fascinating to watch an actress come into a role like Ray and to be 19, 20 years old. Even the idea of getting strong physically, all of that was new. And now as she's emerging as a powerful Jedi, and you're watching her as Daisy actually move through that process, there's an interesting parallel. Bit of dialogue, bit of dialogue. I went into it knowing that I wanted to be healthy, doing stuff that literally feels good for your body. So I was sort of combining a number of things. So I was doing essentially body weight training five days a week and then kickboxing twice a week. One, two, three, One guard, dialogue. I took karate, uh, kendo, and did a little bit of weight training. They sort of want to mix that martial arts flavor in with the traditional foil fencing. That's good. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, we have to rest now. Yeah. Okay. Watch it. Right. I can't talk now. I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's difficult. It's becoming better than old flint. What do you mean by difficult? This is unusual. You know, I haven't seen this one before. Then you pull the saber out. Here we go. You know how this is going to go. It hits you immediately. This remote droid is molded from the, the original mold from the New Hope of the one that they used then. So that's exactly the same as what you saw on the Falcon on the New Hope. Sick. That's not a good rhythm. Oh, it's yeah, there you go. Yeah, like that. Like it wants to be really, it wants to be really annoying. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's the feeling. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Don't get me going. That's what it is. That's exactly right. Eunice, just a tremendous stunt coordinator, amazing force of nature. She just came across as a breath of fresh air, someone who would attack this with a with a passion that JJ would respond to. She's done the tightrope going. Yep. She gets gets the uh, the ribbon. Oh, that, yeah. Now she's running back. Yeah. Thirty foot's quite a big gorge. It is. Do you yeah. like the idea that there's like a half fallen tree, and she sprints up a fallen tree, so it just pitches it off over the gorge a bit, and she gets the height coming to come down you on. Believe it more. You would believe it more. Yeah, yeah cool, cool. All right, nice. Hey, go on. <laughs> Boom! Have it! Have it! next time. Just walk into the end. You go. And then remember that strong takeoff changes the whole body language. That strong takeoff. And when you cycle through, forget about the wires then. Just bring your arms through. Yeah. Okay? Okay. It's funny because I had heard various things about Eunice before I met her. People go, people call her intense. With intention, Tommy. I'm intense. Oh, I'm tense. Oh. I'm not tense at all. I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> She's just got the most amazing energy all the time. This is all you forget the way you're doing this jump for real. Yeah. Just drive. Set and go soon. All right. Roll down, please. Down speed. 16 Lima. Here we go. Two. Set and go. Camera. Three, two, one, action. Stay go. Yeah. And cut. Great job, Dizzy. I don't think Great that's job, the best Dizzy. One. I, I think I've seen you do that. Yeah. It's like didn't hit the wire. Good, 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 weird. Eunice came over to me at one point. She goes, "Do you think you were as intense as last time?" I was like, "That's not the question, is it, Eunice? You're asking me to be more intense. Just ask me to be more intense." She's like, "Yeah, yeah, be more intense." I was like, "Okay." Set, energy, and go. Camera, three, two, one, action. Drive, Shaito. Good girl. That's the one. That's the one. Good girl. Great job, Dizzy. That was great. The excitement on Eunice's face when we nail it, she's just like, ah! I mean, it's just so, you're just so happy she's happy. <laughs> so.
I think it's every truly... stunt that happens, she <laughs> actually projects herself <laughs> into the role and she's doing it. Her entire mm. body is moving in front of the monitor when she watches every little detail of a stunt. Eunice has a confidence that is really exciting to work with. She's ferocious in a way that you want people to be. And when you have people like that, then you trust their opinion. And it challenges you to make it better and more specific. There was no icebreaker with Adam. You just, it's like, boom, and that's it. But I, I actually love it. I, I love it. it. Even in rehearsals, Adam's in character. I'll go, Adam, you need to step out more. It's closing your strength down. And he's like, no, no, I don't need to step out more. Carla M wouldn't be like that. He, he wants it there, he wants it there, and I'd be like, yeah, but, yeah, but. And we'd have this, this like, argument, but I like it. Character is her starting place. It's never from spectacle. It's always from within. He was like, so this is how it is, Eunice. I do all my own stunts, and I'm like, yeah, here we go. I always hear it. I go, Adam, there's a level you can do, and there's a level you can't. No, 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 you're not hearing it. I do it all. The physicality of Kylo, I'm very protective over. So you kind of, I wanted to do all of the, the uh, uh, all of the things. I was like, well, okay, if it looks good, you can do it. If it doesn't look that good, I'll be putting the stunt guy in. It has to look good. So, um, but he did everything.